Okay, I'm going to answer the question for you, how to make pâte de brisée, or what's also known as short crust type pastry, okay? This is a pastry that doesn't have egg, tends to be a little bit more crumbly than, say, like the fine lining pastry, the um, um, pâte de fonterfine, okay? So here's the formula, and here's how it's put together. Two cups, all-purpose flour. Now, I'm going to do this in a KitchenAid, um, but you can certainly do this in a bowl or on a table directly by making a well with the flour, putting the butter in it, and incorporating it slowly along with the water and the uh, little bit of salt and sugar, which is what we're going to put in here. So let's put this on the machine. I want to put the dough hook on this. You can also make this with the paddle attachment. You don't have to use the dough hook. And we're going to add a third of a cup of cold water. But instead of measuring it, I have some ice water here, and I'm going to put it in and watch the dough. So when the dough reaches the right texture, I'm going to stop adding the water. That way, I'm controlling the texture of the dough when I'm making it. I'm not necessarily following the water recipe. So let me get the cold, diced up butter. I got this butter cut up in quarter inch pieces here. And I'm going to put it all in there. Lock the machine. I'm going to start the machine. So we have six ounces of whole, unsalted, cold butter cut up into quarter quarter inch or eighth inch pieces combination okay now I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of fine salt and I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of granulated sugar now what I have here is a bunch of pieces of butter mixed up in the flour that are not blended with the flour, okay? I'm going to add the water, and keep in mind that when this is all said and done, you're going to have little tiny pieces of butter in the dough that you're going to be able to see. So let's add some water. It's coming together a little bit. Let me show you where it is right now. See where it is now? I'm going to add a little bit more water. Starting to come together here a little bit. Let me just get the stuff off the sides. Okay, here's what I'm going to do now. So I'm kind of tearing it. You see? See, it's starting to come together because I'm tearing it. The cold butter is spreading out in there now, a little more evenly. There we go. We got ourselves some pot de brise in a ball. Just making sure it's all mixed. We got little tiny pieces of butter in here, not big. You can only see some of them. And this looks perfect to me. Now, I'm going to store this plastic wrapped in the fridge the same way I store any other kind of dough I'm going to use for a tart. And that is, I want to shape it 
close to the shape that I want to roll it out in. So I don't want to store it like this in a ball if I'm going to end up rolling it out because this is going to get cold and hard, then I'm going to have to press it out some more. So let's store it like this, kind of flat and round, because I'm going to make a flat and round tart out of it, okay? And wrap it up, put it in the fridge, and can you roll it right now? You can. It's better when it's a little bit cold. And I've rolled it cold, and I've rolled it just like this, too. Meaning right after you make it. I'm going to store that in the fridge and take it out, and we're going to make a tart out of this in this class, out of that dough right there. But for right now, you have a finished lesson on how to make what they call pot de per se, also known as short crust, short crust pastry. Okay. Enjoy it. Put it in your repertoire.